nice round here. We you love do. it here, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I know we've had a bit of debate about the borderline, but this unquestionably is Maypole. This Mountain. is the heart yeah. of it now. But then, you know, confusingly, the Druid's Heath Library straight over the road in an estate that might not be Druid's Heath. It's just, it's all over the place, isn't it, man? I don't think Portillo helped it much. Here we go. Seven chances as well. Oh. Oh. Last one. Yeah, nothing doing today. Never mind, you know. These things happen, innit? But it's like life, innit? You've got to just dust yourself off and try again tomorrow. Obviously, we have got other things to talk about, but... Yeah, yeah. What about that over the road? Oh, well. Monstrosity of a place. What the hell they think they're doing, man? Starbucks around here. Did you ever think you'd see the day? No, there's a lot of things I didn't... Yeah, that probably tops the lot, doesn't it? Well, I'll tell you something else. Technically, on their website, that's known as Starbucks Kingsley. Well, that's actually proves what I'm talking about, doesn't it? They don't want people from around here going over to that Starbucks, so they're literally not going to change the lights. Let's go. Are you saying then, which I think I agree with you, Yeah. that Starbucks is actually aimed at people coming off the motorway at that roundabout there? Yes. Nipping in, I think you can do the old uh, drive-through as well. Oh. Never even have to set foot in our area. Are they going to even employ people from around here? What benefit is well, this? What do you think the chances are? Well, probably not. But this is going to be like a lot of Birmingham in general, where there's going to be a lot of new things, but it's going to benefit mostly non brummers and it's not going to be really Birmingham people working in the places either. This is The way this is set up, it's designed in it, like what you were on about. Off the motorway, into the drive-through, and get out without ever having to talk to you know anybody. People like us. Well, yeah, or worse. Yeah. Big thing. I mean, look, we're here, we're here at the Maypole Dental. They've kindly allowed us to film here, and um, they've been saying the same thing as well. They, they don't agree with this place. And if you think about it as well, you know they really must mean that because a dentist next door to a place with sugary drinks. They probably benefit from it, but yeah. they're still against it, so that just shows you what people think. Good joke. What do you say to the people that say, look, several years ago, there were the same concerns about Sainsbury's over the road? Sainsbury's, it's just a supermarket though, yeah. isn't it? At Sainsbury's, there's something for everyone. Yeah. Food shopping, ph photographs, medicine. This is just, this is just coffee, isn't it? Coffee and Wi-Fi. In fact, actually, it's a little bit close to the uh, the old Bromsgrove commuters vision from a few years back. Anyway, where should we go now? Let's get on the bus. Let's go to real King's Eve, not just you know fake Starbucks or bloody. Cafe. They think this is King's Eve. We'll yeah. show them King's Eve. Exactly. Won't we? Yeah. Fucking hell. I've always found that interesting. South that Maypole surgery. Well, flipping it. I'd like to know where North. Exactly. Maypole, isn't it? Um, but look, well, the bus is here anyway, and it's just annoying me. So, we need to go, but look, a lot of stuff there is not going to exist with the Starbucks. Sexual health services, you're not going to have people having unprotected sex who go to Starbucks. I hate when you get calls from numbers you don't recognise. Are you going to answer it? No, I'd rather get a withheld. You know what I mean? Let's get down to the topic. Yes. The World Cup. I love it. I you love international sport. tournaments, don't I you? Do, I do. I really come into my heart with those. And if I remember right, the Euros, you were very hot on your predictions yes. a couple of years ago. Also, as well, I foolishly didn't put a bet on Germany to win the last one as well. So the sun's out. You Talk. must be feeling confident. I am. Do you know my tip is to win the whole thing? Go on. Right now, I'm going to just start straight away. Are you ready? Yeah. Who do you think I'm going to say? France. Yes. How do you know? Because you already told me off camera. Oh, did did not. All right. Yeah. Well, France then. Yeah. <laughs> With an outside one. Outside sort of bet, I would say. Uh, stick my neck on the line and say Argentina, but I don't think they will. If Messi wins the World Cup. Yeah. Is that going to change your opinion on him as a player? Uh, depends. If he wins it by himself, then yeah. What do you think of this? This narrative that Messi needs to do more on the international level in order to be considered possibly uh, the greatest of all time. Yeah, maybe. It's a bit of a weird one. It doesn't actually change anything in terms of, 
you know, his skills or whatever. But he's not a better player if he wins the World Cup, exactly. is he? Exactly. But the thing is, you could argue that all the time he's been at Barcelona, he's been surrounded by good players on his team. Yeah. Plus, the league he's in, they can't defend for shit. So it's like he's made to look good. And let's be honest, it's not as if he's actually done it on the Champions League stage quite as much. They have won Champions League. I'll give them that. Quite fortuitous, some of them as well. Do you know what I mean? So well, that's often the case with the knockout tournaments. Yeah. And you know, it's one of my big beliefs. Oh. Well. Is any team within reason? Just got to win a couple of rounds, and suddenly oh, yeah. you can win a tournament. That's, it. That's why I think England always have a chance. Look at Portugal two years ago. Yeah. Portugal didn't actually. I think. What was that thing that they hadn't even? They didn't, they didn't even win a game properly in 90 minutes until the semi-final. Yeah, on the international stage, I mean, he's failed, hasn't he, so far, Messi, let's be honest. Messi or Ronaldo? As a player? Yeah. Ronaldo all the time. Better all-round player. What do you say to the people that say, Ronaldo's just an athlete, Messi's got the skill? I would say have they not seen Ronaldo's skills over the years and I you know I'm talking from his Man United days where he wasn't quite the, the, the big sort of world name that he is now that's the thing Ronaldo has done done the business at Man United at Real Madrid and for Portugal yeah. so also I want to say when did it become a bad thing to be an athlete exactly you know and I'm not being funny Messi's not unathletic so. he's not but you look at Ronaldo and you say he's an athlete he could be playing any sport in the world Oh yeah, that's true. But I'm not going to criticise Messi, he's a good player. I'm not going to deny it. I'm just saying the argument goes both ways. Yeah. Right, let's go in, alright, I need something. And a drink. Right, so uh, yeah. let's get down to it. Yeah. you got the groups up there. I have got the groups, yeah. So here we go, Group A. Uruguay, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Russia. Uruguay are going to win that? I hope they do. I do like Uruguay a lot. Is there potential for Russia to be really disappointed as the home really nation? I hope so. Group B, Portugal, Spain, Iran and Morocco. I hope that Portugal and Spain go through for football reasons. Right, Group C, France, Peru, Denmark and Australia. Well, France are my tip to win it. Um, group D is Argentina, Croatia, Iceland and Nigeria. Do you know what? I'm sure this point's already been made. Argentina and Nigeria just seem to play each other at World Cups a lot. Are they both going to get through? Now nah, Croatia will with Argentina. And we know what Iceland did in the Euros. They're not going to do that again. Would it be funny if they didn't score a goal, didn't get a single point, and were embarrassed? Let's say they have a, a, a goal difference of minus 20. Would you like to see that? Yeah, and they failed drugs tests. Right, here we go. Group E is Brazil, Switzerland, Costa Rica and Serbia. Costa Rica. I do like Costa Rica. We love Costa yeah. Rica. Neighbours to our good friends. Yeah. So, group F is Germany, Mexico, Sweden, and I'm assuming that's South. What are the bottom of these Republic Korea? Well, it's South Korea, isn't it? All right. Mexico, I want them through because I do like the good fans as well. Yeah. We've got a lot of connections there as well. And I want Germany to go through just because I enjoy them losing in the last yes. stages. That's like the Cleveland Cavaliers, isn't it? You root against LeBron, but it's more fun to see him lose yeah. at the end. Group G is obviously England, Panama, Tunisia and Belgium. We don't even need to waste time saying which two we want to go through. Actually. Everyone knows the answer. Yeah. And then finally Group H, Poland, Colombia, Senegal and Japan. Colombia. So, Colombia for sure and Poland to get them through as well. Second round there. Yeah. What did they, you notice that they started to call it the round of 16. Well, it's really it's the place. second round, isn't it? So anyway, this is going to be Uruguay versus, oh, hell of a match that is, Uruguay against Spain. Oh. Yeah. See, I'd like to see Uruguay win that. Absolutely. I hate Spain. I hate a lot of Spanish people as well. Hang on. We know some Spanish people. We know some great Spanish people. That's why I said so. Okay. It's going to then be France against Croatia. France are going to win that. Yeah, they are. There's no Davos Suka. <laughs> Prozinetsky. There we go. Then it's going to be Brazil, Mexico. <laughs> Oh, that's a good one, that is. I'd love Mexico to dump them out in that I love that. Yeah. And then... Oh... No, let's change it. England, Colombia, and we beat Colombia. Oh, we, you know, England, we, Colombia. Yeah. Imagine that. We go from England, Panama in the group stage to England, <laughs> Colombia. Yeah. Oh, that's, just brilliant. that's all our dreams combined. And then it's going to be Portugal against Russia. Costa Rica against Germany. 
good to see Costa Rica do that. And then of course, Panama, Poland. It might be for the sake of the tournament that Panama have to bow out gracefully. So then what we're left with, this might be in the wrong order, but I don't care. Um, It'll be down to the last eight. Yeah. France against Argentina. That's a good one. That'll be when France do it. Are you telling me that France and Argentina can't meet in the final? They can't, no. I'm sure they can, but... Um, Brazil against... The, yeah, Brazil against Germany. No, Brazil are already out, you know. Basically, what we need to know is that the semi-finals... <laughs> so basically, the semi-finals are going to be Uruguay against France and England against... It doesn't matter who we play, we're going to win. England, Argentina. I think we'll beat them. But can we just say, hang on a minute, England haven't done anything yet, but somehow they're in the semi-final. Yeah. See how easy it is? I know. Because we've played against a lot of bad teams. And, and then the final itself will be England, France, and that's when, unfortunately, oh, France are going to win. France. Yeah. I wouldn't be scared playing France. I really wouldn't. Realistic thing, France are going to win the World Cup, but, you know, honestly, England are going to do it. So you can get 11-2 to two on France to win it. Yes. That's not bad, is it? I think it's worth it. And England, 16-1. to one. The favourites are Germany and Brazil. I'm surprised about Brazil. I grew up loving Brazil and everything they stood for football-wise. And I love them as a country, women, food, everything, weather. Yeah, I don't, want it, I don't want it to be one of them cases where people think I'm slagging off the place. I love their club football as well. If you watch Brazilian club football, it's fantastic and the crowds and everything. Back in the day, they were like something exotic. And that's why it was the unknown. They, they do little tricks and stuff that we weren't used to. You're talking about the Roberto Carlos days? Well, those, that, yeah, I think that was, that was like the last bit of it, yeah? Right? And that's why they used to just be so much better than like European teams. But you see now, internet, players going and playing in different countries, everyone plays the same way anyway. And at the last World Cup, Brazil just got exposed by, if you look, the way they got hammered by Germany it was just an example of Germany had the same skills but they had the athletic ability, the, the organisation and the tactical mouse, and they just hammered them. And let's not forget, we lost a bit of respect for uh, Brazil as a football nation with the fans. Definitely, what's what I'm talking about here, yeah, the, the club football, the fans are absolutely everything you want, but unfortunately they didn't get the tickets for the games. Are you saying it's almost a bit like Starbucks at Maypole? Yeah. The people inside that Starbucks are not going to represent Maypole. That's exactly what it is. Tunisia, opening game for us, is that going to be any kind of a problem? It'd be like France 98 too then. Are we going to see any of the scenes off the pitch that we might have seen at France 98? Yeah, but it won't be with the Tunisians, will it? It'll be with the Russians. Um... Are you saying then? Because there's been some what, what you might call scaremongering yeah. in the press. So the scaremongering was very bad last time because what it did, my understanding of it, our football authorities basically banned our nutters from going and all thinking that that will mean there's no trouble and all it did was it just left our normal fans exposed yeah so the russians were there military style training just to attack our families and old people you know what I mean? are you fearful for some of the normal fans the fans that are going just for the football just for a nice day out no. are you fearful for their safety england fans yes do you think it's with good reason that a lot of england fans are saying we don't want any part of this tournament yeah. For safety reasons. Yeah. The political thing doesn't bother me one more. Going back to the ticket sales, yeah. Yeah. I've heard that we've sold less tickets than any of the previous tournaments of our lifetime. Right. Could it be a case of a disappointing England crowd? No, I think that those that are going are going to be the... the I think they're going to be well up there. And I think that we've seen, we've seen this with Millwall. Millwall don't have big crowds. Exactly. But England might only have 3,000 at a game, but it will be a proper 3,000. I'd rather that. I'd rather have that than have 20,000, you know, foam hands and steel bands or whatever. I oh, know that's not. That's Leave that to the likes of Iceland, don't you think? Yeah. Let's go. Harry Kane, 16 to 1, golden yeah, boot. I think it's worth it. It's good, it's definitely worth a bit. Worth a flutter. Yes. 16 to 1 is too, too long odds for a striker who is very, very good. And we've got a fairly easy group compared to some. You know, worth a shot. Neymar, 9 to 1. Definitely not. 
Don't rate him. He might not even be the top scorer for Brazil. Brazil ain't going to score many. Ronaldo, 10 to 1. That's madness, because he still can do it. Do you think it's stupid that Neymar is favoured over, over Ronaldo? I think it... Is it stupid? Might be. Portugal have a more difficult group than what I remember, so Neymar could just possibly uh, benefit from the easy games. Oh. Oh. Jack Wilshire not in the squad, what do you think about that? Fine. We don't like him, do we? No, 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 that's not. I'll have Skulls back. But I don't think that's going to happen, so... Didn't you always say Matt Letizia deserved a bigger chance? He was a... Um, it's unbelievable. There are some players like that. Andy Cole's another one who... Players who were just brilliant and never really did it at international level or got a chance. What do you think about the idea that Ian Bennett, if he was six inches taller, would have been England keeper? Yeah, we're talking. Ian Bennett, it's a lot like Ian Bennett. Yeah, he's a good keeper. Yeah. Just wasn't tall enough. Yeah, possibly. He's quite short for a keeper, wasn't he? Yeah. David Stockdale, should we get rid, yes or no? No. Keep. I think that um, we need to at least give Monkfish a few, two months with the same players and the opportunity to bring in a few extras and then let's see where we are. I don't think he's going to allow that. He wants to hit the ground running. I think he's already made his mind on who he wants to keep. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> are we having a drink before we get the train? Oh what? Are we having a drink before we get the train? Uh, all right, can we should. Yeah, we're done now, haven't we? So keep right on, up the blues. Come on, England as well. Fantastic. Let's get the train. <laughs>